Hey beautiful, we are back in the kitchen for another raw food Ayurveda recipe. Now this is a cultured sunflower seed cheese recipe. It is not officially in my book. In my book, Raw Food Ayurveda Volume 2, I have a cultured cashew cheese recipe. And I mention in the commentary for each of the doshas on how to tweak the recipe so it's more balancing to the doshas, I mentioned that sunflower seeds can be used in place of the cashews to help soothe pitta and kapha dosha, which are not as agreeable with the cashews. Now, if you are pitta or kapha dominant, you might find that you do fine with cashews, or you might be more sensitive to them and require just eating uh, smaller quantities of the cashew cheese. Now, if you want to just go for it, you can make it a sunflower seed cheese. So that's what I've done today, and I will, I wrote down my entire process, basically as it is in the book, but really want to break it down for you and show you how it's done and explain my process very clearly and also discuss a bit about the environment in which you're fermenting and culturing nuts and seeds matters very much to, to the end product, to what you actually get. So without further ado, we'll get into it. So I have one cup of sunflower seeds that I soaked in one cup of filtered water in the refrigerator for six hours now seven hours and i will be blending them in the vitamix with half a cup of water so let me get that blended and i will show you what's next all right we've got our sunflower seeds all blended up with half a cup of water I emptied the contents of the probiotic capsule right on top. You see the white powder there on the sunflower seed cream. And this is the brand of probiotic I use. It's a vegetarian capsule. It's probiotic, no prebiotic, and that is what works best for me. I've got this in a glass bowl. I'm mixing it with a wooden spoon. I will mix this really well and then place it in the dehydrator uncovered for 8 to 12 hours. So it's 8 o'clock right now at night and I will wake up at about 6 a.m. and check on it then and see how it is. And then I place this in the dehydrator uncovered for, let's see what are down here for 12 hours at 115 degrees. And at the 12 hour mark, I smelled it. And I tend to like my cultured cheeses to be more on the fermented side. So I let it go another eight hours at 90 degrees. Now you wanna ferment anywhere from maybe only four hours if you're in a tropical environment up to 24 or more hours if you're in an environment that's really cold and dry. Say you're in Canada in the winter time, somewhere like that or in the mountains in the winter time, it's going to take longer to ferment than if say you're in Hawaii in the summer, your fermentation time is going to be much quicker in Hawaii. In fact, it might not even work in the tropics. This is something you're going to have to experiment with. I lived in Hawaii and I did not do any kind of cultured nut or seed cheeses, but I was culturing my own coconut yogurt. And I remember there were times when it happened so fast, we were just constantly having to watch it. And this was without even using a dehydrator. So the coconut yogurt would ferment in less than 24 hours. The same is true with sauerkrauts I was making there and fermented vegetables, I really had to keep my eye on them because they would grow mold and things that don't happen as much 
the further north you go and the drier your climate is. So climate really, really matters. That's why you might do this recipe and it doesn't turn out 100% perfect just based on what, where you live versus here, this is turning out really nicely. And as you, you can see, this is after 20 hours in the dehydrator and it is brown and kind of crusty. It's a different color on top than on the bottom. And that is normal. It also smells delightful. Now, will sunflower seed cheese taste exactly like cashew seed, cashew cheese? No, because sunflower seeds don't taste like cashews. Cashews are a much more neutral, milder nut. Sunflowers have their own little tang to them. They have their own flavor. So this is gonna be a sunflower seed cheesy flavor tasting delight versus the cashew cheese is gonna have a more neutral cashew vibe versus if you did almonds, which you can do this way and it makes a nice almond ricotta kind of texture. The thing with the almonds is you wanna peel the skins off so that it works out. Maybe I'll do a recipe video where I use almonds. So this is our cultured sunflower seed cheese. I'm just gonna mix this up here so that the brown part on top is mixed in. I didn't stir it or anything while it was dehydrating. I let it just be. And this is quite hearty. And I think it's gonna take the lime juice here really well. Now in my recipe, I normally would use lemon to give it the additional tanginess but what I have right now is limes and I'm really feeling the lime so that's what I'm going with. I also have a clove of garlic that I've minced up in this little cup. I just dropped it into the lime juice and you could also add a tablespoon or two of nutritional yeast if you eat nutritional yeast and that doesn't aggravate you. Use it. I've not been consuming nutritional yeast so I'm not gonna add it. You could also add a pinch of salt, particularly balancing for vata dosha or if you salt your food and salt works for you, add a pinch of salt to this, it would be delicious. So I'm just gonna taste this as it is to get a sense of the sunflower seed cheesiness smells very very nice it's very good plain to me it probably could have been fermented even longer but our lime juice is going to give it additional tang which if you watch my other recipe videos, then you know I'm into some tang. <laughs> I like my acid. Not that kind of acid, y'all. Lemon and lime juice. Okay. So we will give this a stir. And what I have planned with this is... I'm going to be working on a recipe for some stuffed jalapeno pepper poppers. Yum! Truth be told, my friend in the tropics made this recipe and said it didn't work. And I was like, I'm going to make it and make sure it works again. <laughs> So that was the motivation for this recipe video. And also just to share that, like I said, environment really, really matters. So I'm giving you the exact times, time parameters that work in Arizona and would probably work in most parts of the continental United States. You know, Florida versus Colorado, that's going to be different because Florida is more tropical. 
So you really have to figure out the times for yourself and be vigilant as you're fermenting. You know, go and smell it every once in a while if you live in a very hot and humid place in particular. So again, I'm just going to give this a taste. <sighs> Smells very, very good. Y'all, this is awesome. An awesome choice for pitta and kapha dosha. Kapha in particular, don't go crazy with this. Don't eat this entire thing in one sitting. It is a cup of sunflower seeds, which is a lot of fat, and that will tend to bog you down and aggravate pitta. But you might find that this is more soothing and more pacifying and more workable for you. Still exercise some self-control, probably limit your consumption to a quarter cup or less, and you know, have that in a meal where that's that's your fat. I wouldn't add additional fat. But again, see what works for you. You might tolerate more fat. Right? Everybody is unique. So Thank you so much for watching. I hope this inspires you to try the variations of recipes that I um, describe in my raw food Ayurveda books to help you dial in the raw food lifestyle according to your dosha. Like this video if you like it, subscribe for more, and much love to you. Namaste.